Ferrari 3 wordt gedrukt door die Natalse loskakel wat in 1960 in sy debuutreek speel. En die drie punten was die eerste van Altesam 88, wat Keith Oxley vir Zuid-Afrika in toetsen zou aanteken. En hij zal sy drie op Nieuweland is zeker niet licht vergeet nie. Nee, dat is recht, Peter. So die drie in die, achter, in die hoekie daar, achter je rug, dat was teen uh, die Lewis. Um, ons, het, ons het gepraat in die bus, met, ek het da, saam met Dick Lockyer gepraat in die bus, en ons het die ding uitgewerkt in die bus. Het was een skert, in die scrumskakel myself. Um, dat was een scrum in die hoek, ons die bal gewen, Dikke die bal opgetel en, en rechts hard loop en echt het recht uit dier gehaard loop en die uh, bal van hom gekry en in die hoek ged, uh, drie gedrukt. Brisco gooi die bal in, skuit recht in die baie tevrede nie, maar hy laat die spel nog voortgaan daar en bijna, bijna, kry Brisco die bal in die handen, geen aan verklaak en hy skop vast in Oxley en die bal rol los op die kwartlijn van die Sjelaar en kijk wat hy kruid in die handen en hy sit af doellijn toe en hy swijf treef van die doellijn en hy geef aan die kant in die Oxley en hy is dier, hy het sy drie, hy geef het vir Oxley en hy het sy drie. Drie punten bij voor Zuid-Afrika. Ons het negen en New Zealand het drie. Die All Blacks onder die paal. Oxley slaag ook in die derde toets op Nieuweland met een strafdoel. Trouwens, Keith Oxley teken in hierdie toets weer al Zuid-Afrikaanse punten aan. En met hierdie drie van hom beklink die spromokke die reeks. Hans Brevis had all the attributes of a great fly half. Judgment, the ability to kick with both feet, to pass sharply and accurately to left and right, plus a highly developed competitive instinct. But his greatest quality was the ability to think and act a split second faster than anybody else. Hans Brevis made his debut against the 1949 All Blacks and in his short but outstanding career, he never played in a losing test side. The year was 1949. The occasion, the second test between the All Blacks and South Africa, yeah, on the hallowed turf of Ellis Park, albeit not in the surrounds of this modern showpiece. In the first test, Oki Geffen had kicked five penalty goals for South Africa. And yeah, in the second test, on this self-same spot, Hannes Brevis scored that truly remarkable and legendary try. In fact, the first try in South African rugby post-war history. Was this perhaps his greatest moment? I think definitely, Gavin. Definitely. If you are referring or if you are thinking of the 1949 second test at Ellis Park, you are 101% correct. It happened on the northwestern side of Ellis Park. Jordan hooked the ball and uh, I got the ball but the scrum swung clockwise. When, when I steadied myself, Kearney was on top of me. I dummied and I fainted a kick to the corner flag and then I shot through. I was lucky. Joel Lautefan, a great centre in this era alongside Brevis, once said, and this perhaps sums him up perfectly, the Sarge was an artist. In Australia, where the ball is going to be thrown in this fast scrum, Dirk de Vos, wait for him, wait for him, and as a cop here, where the man is a cop, and he's going to sell the ball after him. Greg Davis is there, and he's going to tell you, Piet Verslazie, and he's going to come and he's going to come. Piet Verslazie, he's going to come. He's going to go to Piet Verslazie, and Piet Verslazie, he's going to come, and 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 Piet Verslazie, he's going to come. Once again, a South African line out. Here, the back line moving. Vasaki coming through. Beautiful play by Vasaki. He goes for the corner. It could be a try. It's over. Magnificent try by Vasaki. Vasaki, the 5'8, scoring the first try of the game. It was a run around coming around behind his inside centre, Kronje. And Vasaki is over to make it six points to nil. The South Africans in front. Okanye, great tackle again by Aitken, who's put in some fine tackles since he's been on La Maison Lacroix. Teichman holds him up. 
Now it's Swanapool. Dick Muir. South Africa have got plenty of men on the outside here. Andre Sneiman. And now it's Yanni De Beer, the new man inside to Percy. Now it's Hanna Honeyball. South Africa are playing games with the French here as Yanni De Beer gets it to Henry Honeyball. First test try ever. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. And Nick Mallet is over the moon. Look at that, Nick Mallet. Well done. 50 points to South Africa. Well, you have to say that they deserve that. Dick Muir was the man who started it. He had a look up, it was turnover ball, and he spotted the amount of space there was. But look at this. This is sevens rugby from a South African team that is pumped up and playing with supreme confidence. Now, this is why Henry Honorable's only scored this try in international rugby. He had nobody in front of him, but he's so unselfish, he was trying to pass it to somebody. He must be crazy. Try number seven. Pat. Honeyball. The switch to Sean Pine. Pat again. Just look at the support play from the tight forwards. Chris Rousseau. Steve Atherton was in there. Now's a chance for Henry Honeyball. First try, if you were still uh, getting your favourite beverage, came after two minutes. This is Mertens. Clark. Honeyball thundered into him, the ball was dislodged. How do those bodies stand it? Nick and Eddie by now from Lemney. But I said, man, what the face for Gary Old. He's eight kin on this side of the scrum to get that shot by the All Blacks. Van der Vestas and Honeyball finds the opening. Now, can he find another man with him? Decides to kick, which is a good decision and that then couldn't hold on, knocked forward. And it's those most encouraging moments that just don't turn into scoring moments. Great gap that by Honeyball. Prachtige doen, Hendry Honeyball. Dit is die rechte optie, maar kijk zijn lucht. Very quiet in the corner there, Lim. Got nothing to say to us today. I'm just waiting for my nice steak. I'm looking forward to that. Eh? Yeah, it's funny that you come to... A restaurant in London to drink South African beer and eat red meat. What's so funny about that? <laughs> <laughs>
Dat is bij eens kings, want dat is een spreekwoordelijke hoekie gedrukt in alle opzichten. Hij lijkt mooi, hij is daar! 1 en 20, 15. Well, the, the top surface is very wet and slippery. Underneath it's firm. And the ball could bounce any direction. Good line out position. Hart and Asbuerta. Left footer drop goal attempt. And it's there. Three points to Asbuerta. Three points to Northern. Well, Dennis well, Williamson, what cry? Asbuerta. He comes to ice caps. Kop voegen. Here he is. He's there. Asbuerta is the third ice caps. Kop voegen. He's just in the pallet here. Skalmerberg getting his forwards well behind him. And that's a good hanging kick. That goes Andre Skinner and Badenhorst. A third drop. Adolf Milan took it very well there. Out to Nasberta. And Nasberta, another drop goal attempt. And wait for it. It looks good. It looks beautiful. It's there. Nasberta, his third drop goal. Compromising stuff. Good rugby. And a fourth. And waiting for advantage. Referee waiting. Here's Nas. That's good refereeing again. Here it goes over. And it's over. 21 points to 18. Who is Copa? Campbell had gedeflecteerd. Manel. And it's Nasberta. Oh, the top here goes Nasbota, can he for Mark and Weghardt, loop you? He must have a great name, see you then!